But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Girl Gaming. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, usually we do gaming videos on this channel, but I wanted to actually do a tutorial uh, that teaches you the very most basic steps in how to mod Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Many of you may know that, I'm just going to open this up here, I'm one of the lead developers of um, a total conversion to Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion called Star Trek Armada 3. And uh, what this particular modification does is it turns the base game which is a, um, a real-time strategy uh, game with an empire building mechanic into a Star Trek game as you can probably see here from this glorious picture um, and uh, what we've recently been doing since our 1.2 version has come out is encouraging our community uh, the people who've downloaded the mod and who enjoy it to actually uh, change the mod themselves uh, make some additions and uh, see if they can make it better than we made it in the first place it's something that we really appreciate and uh, something that we want to see more of as time goes by now the best way that we can do that is by getting uh, the information out there as to how you're going to mod the files, how you're going to change things. And uh, you can see here that uh, several uh, of our users have already made their own uh, refits and changes. We've got the Battlefield refit add-on by Thomas Moore, Fangoriously. We've got the Second Dread add-on by Martox. We've got Known Space add-on by Carl Kelly, which is a map pack. Uh, all of these things are add-ons made uh, by users of the mod. This isn't actually by the development team. And that's really exciting, and I want to see more of that. <clears throat> So, I want to teach you um, the very, very basic steps. Now, I've got two folders here, which I'm just going to open up. Uh, now, if we go to the Steam folder where Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion is, it's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. And we're going to go into something called the Game Info folder, which contains all of these entity files. These are the bread and butter uh, of the game. They uh, state your abilities, where your researchers live, all sorts of different things, which we are going to go into at a later date. Now, I use something called uh, Notepad++. Uh, I find it a very useful tool. Now, if we try and open one of these files so we can edit it, we'll find that there's a lot of null going on there, and that's because it's in binary format. This is step number one. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to change files from binary format into rich text format so we can read them. I've already done it with uh, some of these folders here, so let's just open them up and you can see that this is all readable and it's all in kind of uh, an ordered way. And we'll be able to make changes using that. So how do we actually go about doing that? Let's just back it up. You can see that there is a useful tool here called convert data underscore rebellion. We're just going to copy that and paste it onto our desktop for the moment. There it is. Okay, great. Now we can just minimize these. Now, what this tool does is it changes things from binary format into rich text format and back again. That, that's exactly what the convert data uh, file does. I've been lucky enough to find uh, this useful uh, tutorial here that is actually going to help us through this. Now, we found that the easiest way that you can do this is by creating something called a batch file, which we're going to go through shortly. But first, this is a piece of knowledge we need. There are four different types of files that you can convert for SINs. Uh, brushes files, entity files, mesh files, and particle files. All of those um, can either be rich text or they can be in binary format. Why are they in binary format when they're released to the public? Because it's actually much more efficient for the SINs engine. Uh, you'll find that your loading times decrease, the amount of memory that is used is decreased, and that, that's a big thing when it comes to SINs, especially if you're making something high quality. So, what are we going to do in order to do that? We are going to do this. Multiple files at once, create a batch file. And we're going to do that. We're actually just going to uh, copy this little section here, this line, which I will be putting in the description below. You can see it's for Rebellion. That's great. And we're going to minimize. Whee! There it goes. And we're going to create a new text document. And we're going to call it uh, sins underscore uh, bin underscore two underscore text. Uh, there we go. That is our folder. Now, we're going to open it up, and we're going to paste this in. I'm actually going to paste this 
four times and you'll see why I'm going to paste this four times shortly. Uh, you can see this is all in dot entity, convert rebellion entity to text. But what else do we have? We've got particle. Oops, if I can spell it right. There we go. Let's change that one as well. Excellent. We have mesh. Is it meshes? Let's let's just check. So we can go back from the mod and we can go into the mesh folders and it's yes, just a dot mesh file. Great. Uh, our particle files are dot particle files. There we go. We see that. And what was the last one that we did? They're in the window file and they're called dot brushes. So let's do that. Dot mesh um, and dot brushes. Now the reason I've actually done four of these is uh, just so we can uh, move that batch file around and do what we want. Here we go. We get in there. We get in there. And brushes. So we've got all the different types of files that we need there. Now we're going to save it as uh, sins bin to text dot bat, and that's how you create a bat file. You just save it as dot bat, and it should create a little a new little file right here. There it is. So let's uh, get out of this and see how we would go about changing our files over. So you're going to need your convert data rebellion file and this bin to text box dot bat. Ooh, there's our original. Move that out of the way. So let's copy those with control C and we're going to paste them both into this folder. Fantastic. We've got them in there now. And all you need to do now that you've got them in your folder is just double click on your batch file and it should do everything for you. Uh, you'll see it goes straight through and it turns, oops, it will turn all your brushes files, let's open this up, into a usable format. Uh, and now what we can do is we can go into any of the other files, the particle files, for example. Uh, I think a lot of these may actually be... Oh no, here we go. These are all in binary right now. So we're going to control V and we're going to find our new file. which should be around here somewhere. So at the bottom, I imagine. There it is. The Windows batch file. We're going to double click it. It's going to change everything in that folder into a text format. This might take a couple of minutes. We've got a few particles going on. <clears throat> doo, doo, doo. There you go, that should be finished now. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just pick a, uh, this file at random. Ooh. And we're going to open it with Notepad++. And you'll see it's now in a usable format, which is great. And we can change all these things in here, uh, but we'll come back to that. That's something that we need to look at later. That is the very first step uh, of making use of your files in Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. You can see that uh, now that these are all open, we can make use of these. We can change the values here. Uh, we can change all the items. Uh, we can change the constraints. Now, we're going to be going through all of this stuff at a later date. Um, I have also found this wonderful plugin uh, site here which actually goes through a lot of the items for us. Like, for example, if we wanted to make a new research subject, so we can just click on there, and you can see, just by uh, clicking on, on all of these items, it's just it allows us to look at the modifiers, it allows us to look at how we can do things. Let's look at the modifier types and conditions. Excellent. And here are a bunch of modifier types that we can actually make use of. So we're going to be looking at those in the near future. That is going to be in another episode. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, what I'm actually going to be doing for you guys is I am going to be hosting these two files for you together. Uh, I may actually just uh, copy this file. Here we go. And we're going to rename it to text to bin. So you can easily change your files back into binary format and let's just get rid of the copy there there we go and I'm just going to edit that with notepad plus plus now right now you can see what all of these do and they've got text at the end of each line if I just delete this text it's going to turn things back into binary format 
there we go I've created the file for you now uh, and I'll show you that this works by going back into our brushes folder uh, copying this pasting it in here there it is and we're gonna run that that should be done now so if we actually click on a brushes file yep yeah, that is back in binary format uh, we'll do it through notepad plus plus so you can see back in binary format um, so these three files here I'm gonna be hosting um, on probably mega or something like that mega upload um, so you guys can just download it and have a fiddle around and have a play that's your first step when it comes to modding and I will also include uh, the links to these uh, these sites that we see here this is the quick guide uh, on how to convert your files and of course the um, sins of a solar empire plugin uh, the reason I actually want to um, include this particular thing is so you can just all see what's going on and why uh, it is going to allow you to just take a look at different things hey look there's a capital ship thing here what does this mean uh, this would be the entity file for a capital ship itself uh, and you could see that you've got different abilities that you can do um, how many target banks it has that's that's how many different targets it can shoot out uh, from the front for example but now I'm waffling. That's for another episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been a bit of a weird waffly episode um, of Modding for Sins, but I do hope you enjoy it. Uh, do like and subscribe if you want to see more of this same content that teaches you how to mod. And if you have other games um, that you've always wanted to mod but don't know how, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I only have any real experience in modding for Sins, but I do have some content contacts out there that might want to teach me a little bit about how to mod other games for example New Vegas uh, using the GEC and NIFScope and all that good stuff so maybe if you want to see some other stuff as well let me know this is Gul Dukat out